my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on what I've been lately wearing and also a little bit like first impression on the new Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the box that it came with. It comes with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter which I thought it was a nice touch to just add in there because it is a pretty pricey item. This retails for $52 but with taxes and everything, it came up to $56. It's the highlight that I'm wearing right now, and it is a blinding by Amaretto. The mineral blush is so, so bomb. I'm actually wearing that with another blush. But other than that, this look is just uh, what I've been wearing lately. Yeah, so if you are interested in the little first impression on the highlight and everything, go ahead and keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Hi guys, so I'm going to start off by applying my favorite moisturizer at the time. This is the Proactive Plus Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. And I'm sorry if you can hear the birds. My mom has birds and it's so annoying. This is an acne treatment. And the only reason why I use this is because it's really, really extremely hydrating. And I really love how it makes my face feel. It feels very awakened. And I really pack it onto my face and really work it in there in like every single um, crevice of my face. My face drinks up any kind of cream so fast. So the next thing that I apply is my NYX Dewy Finish um, setting spray. And the reason why I use it on my face before and after is just to have that really dewiness going on onto my skin. So the foundation that I use is this Fit Me Matte and Poreless foundation. This is for normal to oily skin. Now for a brush, I've been using my IT Cosmetics. I forget this brush, honestly, the name rubs off. It literally covers everything. I feel like with any foundation, it really gives me a good coverage because it even does that when I use just like a CC cream. On, I'm gonna go in with concealer just to hide my under eye circles. This is my NYX HD concealer and number two, which is just fair. I really like this because it is so lightweight this concealer is. And the brush that I've been using is the G6 brush by Morphe. Now to set everything in place, I'm going to use my Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And I really like this product. It's only $7.99, $8 at Walgreens. Lately, I literally been enjoying this powder. Now I'm going to set my face. I'm going to apply my Airspun Loose Face Powder. But this one is the Translucent Extra Coverage. And I really like to use the pom-pom that it comes with. It just really sets your face nice in place. That, and then I'll just go in with my powder brush and just literally blend everything out. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Literally put this bad boy everywhere on my eyelids. I like to use my fingers just to warm up the product. But i really been just liking using the brush lately. And to set the eye primer, I'm going to use my MAC Emphasize Pro Powder and apply it underneath the eye as well. I'm going to actually go in with my MAC Single Pan Shadow in Script. I used to love this eyeshadow so much. I'm just going to run that through the crease. And now I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. But you can see it's really, really pretty. And I'm going to use this brown right here. It's also kind of like a red tone brown. But I'm actually just going to focus this on the outer V and bring it down a little like that. And now for the eyelid, I'm actually going to use the same, just this guy right here. And I'm just going to apply it right where I didn't apply anything. And if you pack it on nicely, it'll just give you like a really nice opaque shadow. Just blend everything out. Just blend, 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 blend. Now what I do, I just go in with the concealer. 
brush that I use to sharpen my brows. I'm going to use this red tone shadow and put it underneath the lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze up my face and I'm using my Make Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in number two. I've been loving this bronzer. It's also waterproof and it's super lightweight. It's so nice. It works with all of my foundations. I just really like it. And now to contour, I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And I'm going to use the Havana, which is the middle shade. It's a little cool. So I really like cool tone contours because I feel like I find them the most natural. And I'm going to apply it with my NARS Eta brush. So for blush, I'm going to use my NYX Ombre blush in the number 6, which is nude to me. And it's such a pretty color. A little bit of it goes a long way and it comes with a highlight on it too. Which if you don't want to spend money on highlight... You don't have to, but you know we're going to use highlights. So you already know. You already know. You already know. I have to bring my baby in. <laughs> this is the Jaclyn Hill with Becca collaboration. And oh my god. I'm going to go in for a Prosecco pop. I'm actually going to use the brush that she also swears by. This is the Morphe M501. So I have no highlight. Oh my freaking god. And come through, live through me. That is an amazing highlight. I cannot. I'm gonna actually go in with amaretto blush because I forgot that this came with a blush. I'm actually going to line my lips now with my little lip liner. This is Spice from MAC. And I'm going to go in with Kat Von D Bow and Arrow lipstick. I'm going to go in with my Dewy Finish Setting Spray from NYX. Alright guys, so that is it on my video. I hope that you guys enjoy it. And I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!